Hey, Trello lovers, are you ready to create even more than the 10 boards that the free Trello plan allows? If so, this video is for you. Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm Kat, biz coach and integrator for creatives, helping you make dreams and dailies happen. Y'all know I love Trello. Trello is how I organize and do it all. And the cool thing, and maybe the thing you didn't know, is I've been using the free Trello plan since 2016. Yep, completely free. There are hacks and ways that you can use the free plan so that you are able to continue to organize and optimize your business on Trello. And we're going to talk about one of them today, and that is workspaces. Inside of the free plan, you're only allowed to have 10 boards, but I have over 35 boards on my plan, yet it's free. How was I able to do that? It's with workspaces, you guys. I wanna flip the screen. I wanna show you what I mean when I say workspaces and how you can start to add workspaces to your currently free Trello plan to continue to optimize your productivity and streamline your to-dos with Trello. Before I flip the screen though, I wanna remind you guys, I have my ultimate Trello template bundle available for you, 10 templates, 11 video trainings all around Trello, all the things Trello. So if you are ready to jump into Trello or maybe you've started jumping into Trello, but you're feeling a little bit lost and dazed and confused with all of the options, this bundle might be the perfect fit. So click the link below to grab it. And while you're at it, make sure you download my two free Trello templates too. Okay, let's talk about how you can use workspaces to find that little hack and continue to stay on a Trello plan. So I have a lot of workspaces over here because I onboard and work with all of my clients on Trello. But what I want you guys to laser focus in on are these workspaces here that have KS in front of them. These are the ones that are specific to my brand um, and the workspaces that I own. Okay, so they are under my own Trello account. Now, when you are working in Trello, you might find that um, if you go to like your workspace, you could see here, this says two remaining. So on this particular workspace, I only have two more boards available. So what happens when you get to that 10, but yet you want to add more boards to your Trello account? What you need to do is simply create a new workspace. It's free and it lives under your same account and it's that easy. So you would just go up here to the plus sign, create a new workspace. So we'll do it as a test, choose the type. I'm just gonna put other, continue. I'm not gonna invite anybody right now. I've got, now this pulls up here. So you can edit it, you can update it with your logo, which I love to do to brand it even further. So you can update it with your logo, you can change out the title whenever you want to. So now if I go back here to Trello, and if we go to this KS section that I've got here, we've just created a brand new workspace that gives me 10 more boards. So what I like to do is I've created a workspace that's archives. I have just regular archives of some old boards that I don't want to delete because I might need them again at some point, but I'm not actively using them. And then client archives, same thing. I'm not actively utilizing these boards, but I wanted to keep them in here just in case. So I've got those. So when I'm done with something on one of these workspaces, I can just move it over. So like say, for example, with Erin's, I'll just do this for her and then I can move her back. Whoops. Um, say I want to go up here to workspaces and I want to change her workspace. So this is where I would change a workspace right up here at the top of the board. I want to change her workspace and I just want to change her to KS archives. Change. So now she's been moved to archives. I can pop back over here to Trello and now she's not here anymore. And I've got three boards remaining instead of two. And then I go to archives. She is now right there. So really easy to move boards from workspaces so that you can better organize and optimize how you are using Trello. You can see right here the workspace, all of the workspaces I have. I've got a team workspace. 
Um, I've got a personal because I do some personal life organization on Trello. I've got offers. What that means is all of the offers. So any way that somebody can pay me money, okay, that's what an offer is. All of those are here. I've got my content. Um, and this one only has one board on it, but that's okay. Right now, the one board is working. I just like to organize it with its own workspace. I've got a client section, a client archives I just showed you guys, and then an overall archive. So I just use workspaces to leverage how many boards I have. So now all of a sudden I can have over, I have over 35 boards right now because I have used workspaces. Now I will say that I have one workspace that is on the pro plan that is a paid Trello plan because it's templates. And in order to have templates, you have to have the paid plan, but I only have the paid plan with one workspace. So it saves me money. I don't have to have the paid plan on all of these other workspaces. I just put all of my templates in one workspace. And so those are, you know, the ones that are available in that ultimate Trello bundle that I told you guys about. Um, so if you are looking at ever creating templates in Trello, you would need the upgraded plan for that. But all of your free, um, or excuse me, all of your other workspaces can continue to stay on the free plan. So that's the Trello hack. You guys just create a new workspace and get to organizing. I hope that screen share was helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if there's any other Trello tutorials I can give you, bring it on. I love talking about Trello and would love to help. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.